Hey everyone, this is Eric Chabot here. I am the director of Ratio Christi Student Apologetics Alliance at the Ohio State University and Columbus State Community College. And I also blog at thinkapologetics.com. Some of you follow my YouTube channel as well. So I just want to mention a newer edition of a book that's come out uh, recently. And it is called Christian Apologetics, A Comprehensive Case for the Christian Faith by Douglas Gruthius. Uh, he is a professor at Denver Seminary, uh, and certainly written some other books as well. But this is a newer edition of an old, the, his older book that came out, I think, six or seven years ago, which was really good. But this is even better. And this is probably my favorite go-to apologetics book. I mean, there's some other good ones, obviously, but it is comprehensive. Notice the title says comprehensive. So, Anyway, he has added new addition or uh, some new material to this. And just looking through the chapters, I just want to mention some of the things he's added into this book. Obviously, he, you know, a lot of things have come up in apologetic circles, of course, in the public over the last probably six, seven years since the last one was released. So he probably felt the need to address some of these issues. So uh, he's got a chapter here on the argument from religious experience, which is really good. He's also got a chapter on the hiddenness of God. It's called Doubt, Skepticism, and the Hiddenness of God. Uh, he's also got a couple of chapters on the atonement. And he's also got a chapter on miracles now. Um, and some other, uh, lament. He has a chapter on lament is apologetic for Christianity, which is a really important topic. And he's added some other things. He's got an appendix on hell, an appendix on some issues of the Old Testament. But he's also added uh, some more material into the previous chapters. Now, the previous chapters were very comprehensive as it is, but he's even added more into that. He also has a chapter on the argument from beauty. I noticed that as well. So, uh, in some other things, some other chapters, maybe oh, original monotheism. That's another new chapter. So, in another, I would mention a really important chapter he added is uh, a chapter called In Defense of Theistic Arguments, where he really uh, defends the use of natural theology. That's really important because sometimes in apologetic circles and Christian circles, some really, uh, some, you know, some theologians or some Bible, you know, preachers or just in general, just don't like natural theology because you're starting outside the Bible, trying to talk to people about the existence of God without using the Bible, starting with cosmology and uh, design arguments and things uh, such as that. And they don't, think that's helpful. I think you should go right to reveal theology and just talk about what's in the Bible. So that's a very helpful chapter, the chapter called In Defense of Theistic Arguments. So there's so much in here. It's so good. So I just want to recommend you get this, uh, put it in your library. Uh, he is an excellent writer. He's He has a lot of good footnotes as well, you know, more material you can look up. And he also has some clear syllogisms, the way he lays everything out in here. So this is, uh, like I said, probably one of my, if not the favorite uh, book to go to for what it is, which is a comprehensive case for the Christian faith. So hope you can get this soon and uh, put it into your hands. Have a good day.